stop Yeah, I know I did you wrong But I learned my lesson Now what if we could move on? Remember the good days I wish that we could go I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough Cause you're the best, you know I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough Give me a chance, yeah baby try, try, try just one more night Wednesday today and you've probably just seen me doing my hair and makeup to start off this video I thought I would yeah I thought I'd try and include a little bit more kind of hair and beauty content into my channel because I have been doing a lot of fashion stuff and obviously I've been doing a little bit of home stuff um, but there hasn't been much like beauty or hair stuff so I think I'm gonna try and include some more like makeup tutorials and like hair tutorials Although those waves have dropped out already, haven't they? I did not secure those enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was the plan. So I thought this morning that I would just do like a little fast forward hair and makeup thing. Um, so yeah, I've done my makeup. Um, on my lips is a lip liner, an Estee Lauder double la... Shall I just get it and show you? Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, so on my lips is an Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Lip Pencil in the colour Spice. That's the lip liner and then I've got a Rimmel Liquid Lipstick on. So different price ranges but I really like the way they go together. And then actually over the top I did dab a little bit of um, Rosie Huntington Whiteley Lipstick. I'll leave the colours below because I can't remember what they were all called but I dabbed a little bit of that over the top. And that is my uh, trio of lip colours. Um, so yeah, I have got up and ready and washed my hair because I am going out to do some pictures, some Instagram pictures today with my mum. Um, I haven't done any Instagram content in such a long time. As you probably know if you follow me on Instagram, it's literally been like a picture a week at the moment. Um, if you don't follow me, I'm not really selling it to you, am I? <laughs> but if you don't follow me and you'd like to, then it's at Model Mouth. I'll, I'll pop it somewhere. Um, so yeah, the plan is today, my mum has a Wednesday off. She works at a primary school and she has a Wednesday off. So we are going to head out in the sunshine because it's actually a lovely day for once. Um, do a few Instagram pictures and I thought I'd take you, take you with me so you can kind of see how, what goes on behind the scenes. Hopefully anyway, I say that I'll probably end up vlogging nothing. Um, but then I also thought I'd do like a little house update and kind of show you a few updates that are going on at the house at the moment um you can see that we have got doors on <laughs> our wardrobes finally have doors you're not looking at a load of clutter behind me anymore they haven't been painted and like obviously the architrave hasn't been done properly it's got no handles on it 
no, no handles, <laughs> um, but we've got doors, which is lovely. And there's been some other changes throughout the house as well. So I'm going to kind of walk around and show you a few changes as well. I don't know if I'm going to do that before I go out or after. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for today. Oh, look at that chin. <laughs> look at that chin. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and also, how could I forget that I was going to say that? I'm like, oh, what else was I going to say? Um, I, well, I'll show you. Um, okay. Look at that. 100,000 subscribers. OMG. I have hit 100,000 subscribers, which I, I actually can't believe that 100,000 people have decided to subscribe to my channel. So thank, honestly, thank you so, so much if you have hit the subscribe button recently or if you've been a subscriber since day dot. Um, then yeah, thank you so much because I genuinely didn't think I would hit a hundred. When I first started, I literally, I think when I got to a thousand subscribers, I was genuinely like over the moon. So to get to a hundred thousand is incredible. And I do want to do some sort of giveaways and stuff to say thank you. I haven't planned anything yet, but I will be planning some giveaways on my channel, maybe over on my Instagram, um, just to say thank you so much to everyone who has clicked on that subscribe button um yeah it means a lot so thank you but anyway should we get on with the day and kind of like get well get ready i'm gonna get changed i'm not sure what i'm gonna wear for the first picture but i'm gonna get changed into like my first outfit picture um i'd quite like to shoot that cotagon from mango that i got the other day because that's quite lovely isn't it um so yeah I'm gonna get changed. Oh, and on my nails, I just painted them this morning. And let me just show you. Um, oh, you can, I can you see that if I hold them in the sunlight? That's a bit better, isn't it? Well, it's not very. Sh hang on, let me put it over here. Yeah, so I just painted them this morning. It's just like a really natural nudie colour, and it is just a Rimmel one in shade Soul Session. I got it the other day from Boots because I just quite like the look of it. Oh, look, you can see that's the that's my eyebrow stuff on my hand and it just does not budge it's like i need to kind of really scrub that off with soap um but yeah anyway let's let's uh let's crack on with the day these are the first three bits that i've just pulled out of my wardrobe that i want to try and shoot today this is the coat gun that i was telling you about i haven't actually worn this yet but i only got that about a week ago and it is gorgeous i absolutely love that that was the one from my mango video so i'm going to wear that probably today and shoot that first this is the chunky jumper again i haven't worn that yet that was 39.99 um and i'm going to try and shoot that today maybe with some blue denim because i think that will look really nice um look how lovely and soft it is and then this is the other piece that i've just pulled out of my wardrobe as well that i really like this was from my pretty little thing video um, and this was the one, I don't know if you've seen the video, but this was one that had the weird kind of knobbly bits on the shoulders. So I haven't actually done anything to try and get rid of that. And so I'm hoping that it won't really show in a photograph or I can kind of pull it off my shoulders a little bit. But it's like a really long maxi cardigan. Please ignore our floor. Like if I haven't, if you are new to my channel, then we are renovating our house and this is very, very temporary whilst we paint. So yeah, that is literally just wood <laughs> um so yeah they're the first three bits that i've pulled out that i want to photograph and i'm gonna have a little rummage through and see what else i want to pick out say no entry no let's just give it a go um we've just come down like a little side road um this is my mum <laughs> um we've just come down like a little side road to look if there's anywhere that we can oh horses look some stables I guess we're probably on private property now. Oh, okay. um, but yeah, we, what are you going to say? Do we Do care? We care? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Mm, how pretty is that? Yeah, that is quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, we've just driven down like a little side road to see if there's anywhere picturesque that we could get a couple of pictures. <laughs> um, and now we're going off the beaten track <laughs> down. A, now my mum's decided to go. <laughs> <laughs> For a country walk? 
reverse, do you think? Um, yeah, probably, because you're not going to be able to do a three-point turn down this little narrow lane, are you? That's true. Are you actually going to reverse all the way back? I think so. Yeah, I think I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll we'll find a little spot where we can get picture number one because I've just got on a little grey t-shirt, my leather look leggings, and a new bag and my blazer draped over my shoulders. That's outfit number one. Oh look, you can turn around here. That's what I'm going to do. Don't go down the hill. But, um, but it was private property, but the lady was very nice and said we could take a couple of pictures in there. Um, and now I'm just going to do one against this little, this little gate here, because I just thought it looked pretty in front of the church. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop my camera somewhere. I don't know why you have a conversation with me when you're taking pictures. <laughs> Standing up of this, can't I? Mm. This old cardigan. Hopefully. Have you noticed that it's got like pulls oh, I in know, the arms? I can't believe it, but someone did say dampen it down and then yeah, spray it and then flatten it. Yeah, but yeah, it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Yes. Did you not do that? Did you not put a bit of? I didn't like get it. I haven't got around to it yet. I've been very busy, or mother. Very, very busy. Or by a small. Hello, it is quarter to seven. Lou's just left because he's got football training this evening. And so I have decided to get, well, not into bed, but I'm in my comfy clothes um, and I'm laying on the bed doing a little bit of furniture shopping. I, well, I've just spotted a console table that I love the look of. I'm looking for something like this, like it's like a marble sort of console table. Can you, why aren't you showing? There you go. But yeah, obviously it's sold out, so I'm kind of having a little look for something similar to that to go in the hallway. I'm thinking of having like a little marble and black console table and then a round black mirror above it. Um, I'll probably, if I've got, if I can find a picture, like a kind of picture that I've pinned on Pinterest and I'll pop it in. Um, but that's the sort of thing, that's the sort of thing I'm looking for in the hallway. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd just check in because I didn't really do a lot of vlogging today. Um, I think I got a bit at the beginning of when we started doing some pictures and then we kind of just ended up going from place to place and quickly like jumping out the car. We went over to Arundel. It's like a lovely little town. It's a town or a village? Oh, I always get confused. Anyway, it's beautiful and there's like a huge castle there. Um, so we went there and did a few pictures there and then mum came back here for coffee and cake and then yeah, that's it. She left about an hour ago and Lou and I have just been kind of chatting house stuff 
and then he's gone out and now I'm I'm here looking on Pinterest and looking at furniture online that is my Wednesday evening um so I thought I'd just pop on just to say sorry I didn't write because I, I said this morning that I was going to do like a little house update thing um but obviously I didn't but I'm going to do it tomorrow morning I'll um yeah kind of go around and show you some little updates that have happened and I want to show you the kitchen as well because it's looking lovely it yeah it's it's not it's not done yet but it's looking lovely anyway I'll go into that tomorrow when I show it to you <laughs> um but yeah thought I'd just jump on to say good night and I will see you well not good night because like I said it is only quarter to seven but these dark evenings it's creeping up on you it makes you feel like going to bed early doesn't it um but yeah, I'm gonna pop something on the tv catch up on crappy like reality tv stuff that Lou doesn't like watching I always have to watch it when I'm on my own I'm gonna watch something like that look, look on my laptop at furniture and just have a nice chilled evening okay so as you could hear from that clip it was so ridiculously windy at the beach that day and when I went to edit this video, I realised that you couldn't actually hear a word I was saying over the wind. So I thought I'd do a quick voiceover just to explain what was going on in this clip. Um, but basically, I came up with the idea that I wanted to do a Instagram picture to say thank you for reaching 100,000 subscribers. And I thought it'd be a good idea to write 100k in the sand and get a picture. Uh, but it just didn't go to plan. First off, it was so windy and I couldn't even control my hair from going all over my face. Um, and also the 100k in the sand looked messy and it just wasn't, it just was, it's harder to write in the sand than you think. Um, so Lou came up with a much better idea to use white stones and write it with the white stones. Lou has gone to gather some white stones. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? No, you do it this time. I can't do it. Lou has gathered up some white stones and now to write it in white stones. I think you're going to... I don't even think that's going to do a one. Okay, well, we should start. He's gone to gather some white stones. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so windy. Feel like you're not good enough. Give me a chance. Yeah, baby, try me. Absolutely windswept. My hair looks like it's wet. I literally waved it before I came out, and yeah, I, I had in my mind that the picture was gonna look so perfect and beautiful. And um, I don't think it has, has it? I don't think it's come out that way. Um, but yeah, I, I think we've got something and hopefully I'll be able to edit it and make it look good. Um, and um, if you would like to see it, then you'll have to come over to my Instagram to, uh, to see it. Good morning. It is a grotty old day today. I'm working from home today. And well, I'm thankful that I am because I do not want to be going out in this weather. Honestly, look, look how gross it is out there. Look at that sky. Ugh. Actually makes me feel nice having the heating on being all cosy inside, doesn't it, when it looks like that outside. So yeah, like I said, I'm working from home today. I've been doing some emails this morning and I need to film an IGTV this afternoon. Although I usually like to film with like natural light, but I don't think that's gonna be an option today with the with the colour of it out there. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today, but I thought I'd jump on and give you a little bit of a house update, like I said I was going to. Um, yeah, I thought I'd kind of show you how it's looking in the kitchen now, because there's been quite a few changes, although obviously it's not completely finished yet. Like, it still looks a bit bleh. Like, I'm, I'm loving how it's looking, but it's still looking, but it still like isn't finished, so it's kind of looking a bit plain let's say. Um, so I'll talk you through it as we go in there. But yeah, I thought I'd kind of show you how it's looking at the moment. Okay, so as you can see, there's still a lot of stuff everywhere in here. Um, this is from when we were tiling the other night and there's just, yeah, stuff everywhere. Um, but this is what our little kitchen is looking like now. Well, I say little, it looks not very little. <laughs> um, this is like our little setup where we eat dinner every night. 
and well obviously we haven't got a proper table and chairs yet so our neighbours said did we want to borrow these which have come in very handy um, but yeah we finally have worktops and handles and doors um, so yeah and those flowers these are Lou gave me these yesterday to celebrate reaching a hundred thousand subscribers he came home with some flowers and some fudge <laughs> so cute um but anyway so yeah we now have we now have um worktops this is the island in fact if i stand back you can see that this looks a lot better than it did like now we've got the side on it um but we're gonna have some stools that will be sitting in there i think we're gonna have three stools so i don't think four would fit in but we're gonna have three stools along that bit there um we have a hob and that is usable as well now it's working so we have been able to cook here as well um but yeah loving it so nice as well obviously there's not a there's nothing up there but there will be a tv up on that wall so it'll be so nice to be able to kind of like cook and then like Lou be sitting on the sofa there and yeah this is what the island's looking like and i'm loving the color of the doors I just think it's such like a warm soft gray i was really worried it would be i really didn't want it to have like a bluey tinge to it and um yeah it hasn't it's called dove gray and it's like a really nice warm sort of beigey gray um went for chrome handles and cups because i know gold is really in at the moment but i just loved like the classic sort of clean look of the chrome and i just thought it worked with this sort of style of kitchen and i yeah if i come over here this is like where we've got little cupboard dishwasher another cupboard bin unit thing another cupboard <laughs> um and we have a nice undermount sink some draining grooves which is very exciting little jar of tomatoes up there <laughs> they they we grew them in the garden but they do need to ripen <laughs> um so yeah that's that side and then if I show you from over here um I have mentioned before but we are going to have like the um cornice cornice I don't know how you pronounce it but the top bit on there and all around there sort of bring it up a bit higher and then there's a bit that goes along the bottom as well so it does look a little bit kind of square at the minute and that won't look like that oh let's talk about the worktops because I am so pleased with how the worktops are looking. I'm so glad I went for these. I had my doubts and I kind of went back and forth with some different options, but I love them. Um, we ended up going for, well, basically I really wanted marble, but first off it was gonna be really expensive. And secondly, marble scratches really easily. Um, it's just not very practical, I don't think. So this, is what i found and i just loved them when i saw them i kind of did a lot of research and i found these we got them from a place called bbk direct i think it's called i'll leave i'll leave it linked below it's not this isn't an ad or anything but i will leave it linked below because i did my research so if you are looking for something similar then yeah i really do recommend these worktops um and yeah they're basically like a kind of like resin kind of composite sort of thing they're like a solid surface super super heavy and um yeah really smooth and cold to the touch um look like marble-ish but obviously they're not marble and yeah i love the way they i love the way they look and then we've got like a little upstand at the back as well but that does need to be finished off and sealed in and then this area here you're probably thinking that looks a little bit weird but we are going to have two long shelves over there. In fact, they are down there. That's them. That's them there. Um, but they're going to be going up there. There'll be one there, one up. Um, and yeah, I think that will kind of like finish off that area really nicely and bring it all together. Obviously, there's going to be a door there to the utility room. And there'll also be a door on that washing machine as well. That'll be covered up. Um, but I will show you that in another video because that's, um, yeah, still still lots to be done in there but it is coming along nicely and um, so yeah that is a little kitchen update oh i don't know if i've shown you this side as well we've got two ovens over here which um very handy not that we need two ovens we only need one but lou had it in his head that we needed two and then we've got drawers under there this is like a little pull out thing here which is 
pretty handy, holds loads in there. But yeah, the worktops are called Apollo Slab Tech and I will leave the colour that we went for linked below. I think it's like marbles, it's called something marble. Oh, and that bit there, weirdly enough, I just plonked that there to decide whether or not we wanted to splash back against that or not. But I don't think we do need splash back against there, so if I just move that, that's not actually attached. <laughs> um, but yeah, what do you think? Do you have that bit left like that? Or do we put a little bit of, um, not splash back, upstand? Do we put a little bit of the upstand against there like that? What do you think looks better? Upstand or no upstand? Um, oh, and these, um, I need to put those in the bedroom actually. I'll take those through with me. These are, well, these were sent to me yesterday. These were amazing and I haven't tried these before, so I'm gonna try these today, actually. Um, I'll take them through with me. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update as to how it's looking. Um, would love to hear your thoughts on, on how you think it's coming along. We're so chuffed with how it's starting to look because for so long it looked so unhome like So the fact that it's finally starting to kind of come together, we've got a kitchen that we can use properly um yeah very exciting and then we've got well, we've still got loads to do obviously i don't really know what the next project is it's just a bit of everything really um but i have some exciting plans for this room and actually probably the um my sort of dressing room will be the next room to complete um that will be the next one that i'll get yeah get finished off i think just so that i can have some clothes out <laughs> um, but yeah thank you for watching this video i'm going to end it here um, but thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and hopefully i'll see you again in my next video try, try, try. If you just believe